Hello everyone, this is Daniel, and yeah, um... <sighs> this has become a music issue. Really, I mean a music issue. I wasn't even listening to it, and it's already affecting me. Uh... Still a masturbating issue, so I, um, yeah. Sorry about that, but I had to point that out. And now... My head's, um... Not in the right place. Not, not what I mean right place as in spiritually, but even mentally, but physically. Right now I'm um, nauseous and um, very much out of thoughts. Music is really affecting me. I mean... The music of Satan really uh, possesses people in very strange ways. I'm glad it didn't get me spiritually because I'm saved. But it did get me um, in the flesh and mentally. It's not cool. And I'm um, trying to... I've been having a lot of um, dizziness and having a lot of faint feelings. It's not just because of the music that I've been having those faint feelings now. That, um... That, ah, uh, I had a lot of blood flow go out of me. Can't say how. But some of you know how it is. So... Yeah. It's a huge mess I'm having right now. So basically, if you have music blasting in the outdoors and you have this happening, I know that a lot of people are being affected by this. Not in this, like not out of this neighborhood, but a lot of people in the neighborhood are being affected by this. And, um, you know, You know, this is really satanic what they're doing, those demons. And, you know, and the funny thing is, it's not only at the papacy that during, they're doing 666 on all these words, they're also doing symbols of which there are like 666, like 666, which one of them is, um, Monster. One of them is Monster. The other is Dreamcast. Um, there are a whole lot of um, companies that are possessing people. And he's possessing that dog. I might just have to get up. Please, this neighborhood's going wild because of this music. I swear. I'm pretty sure you heard the dog. You may see him right now. No, I can't. <sighs> Music's a strange thing to people. I've, I've been going spacing right now. So, you know, music goes like 666, demons, parents of evil. And when people just um, go symbolically in music like that, I symbolically, you know, just, I don't know. Subliminal messages is the number one thing that demons do. And they're still doing it today, even though it's, uh, it's been banned. But, um, demons are just, you know, they've been, you know, you know, this music is really doing the strangest things to people, and not only that, it's just, 
I hope it's just the weather that's making my allergies getting worse, but no, a lot of blood just came out of me. I mean, legit. Even though you can't just see it. I mean, I don't know. But I'm glad I just put it in the education, but I don't know. Still. I mean, I should put it in education, I don't know. But still, you know. Demons really are powerful beings. But let me just tell you something about God. He is much more powerful than a demon. And he can handle just about anything. Actually, he can handle everything. He just does not want to be evil like Satan because he is perfect. He never wanted sin. He, he, he hates it. But we have to um, ha we have to deal with sin by going to God. And he'll deal, this, deal with the sin for us. And especially with the rock music and um, rap music. Really guys, our time is almost up. And this rock music it's just an example. Oh, and did you hear about, um, well, did you, um, if you're in the future, are you still hearing about, um, do you still remember the, uh, Belter, the, did you, uh, do you still remember the Manchester attacks, if you do? Well, pray. That's all I have to do is, we all, the only message I have for Manchester attacks is pray. Anyway, Satan has been really influencing a lot of people, and, you know, one thing I have to say is that, I don't know, music is, music is able to possess, and that's just a minor thing. Actually, no, it's a powerful tool. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done. Okay, bye.